Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we will be looking even further in depth with this camera. Now I know you guys like this camera and the last video I made you uh, really liked it a lot of you so I decided that I will go even further. Now here I wanted to show you this shot to make sure this camera works. I don't know if I explained this in the last video but this camera says uh, that the, the memory is full and I'm not too sure why. So I originally thought I would fix it but uh, I, I couldn't get it ever working, so I guess we'll just destroy it. So, uh, starting off, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, I'm kind of figuring this out as I go, but you can see the LCD is lifting up, uh, and it's tied down with two ribbon cables that are easily removed. Uh, as you can see here, I didn't know what I was doing, but to get that off, you have to unscrew the bottom two brackets that are holding it down which is easily figured out, I guess, by me. And after that, it comes off of the screen. Now there's a little uh, hinge on the top that can be taken off. And here's some tape that uh, held down the other little connector for the uh, controller. And here we have uh, the ribbon cable. Now there is a little plastic piece that pulls out of there that loosens the uh, fit for the ribbon cable so as soon as that's out then you can easily pull out the ribbon cable but uh, it took me a little while to figure out what I was doing and on the other side is the same exact thing now one of these is for the, the display and then one of them is for the uh, color I believe but uh, don't quote me on that and we have another screw on the bottom here I'm just going to take that off here and another screw right next to that one now uh, this was my grandma's uh, camera that she used before she got an iPhone oh, uh, she gave it to me to uh, see what was wrong with it and uh, I don't know what was wrong with it but here we have another connector that is connecting the controls on the side uh, same thing same idea it's just in a different spot. Before it was on the bottom, the plastic part was on the bottom, but now it's on the top. So it's the same uh, It's the same thing. You just pull it out and then the uh, ribbon cable comes right out. After we unscrew that last screw on that connector, then we will see the whole logic board comes off. Uh, and there are little metal plates on the bottom of that. As you can see, that connect to the little uh, looky thingy. See, I'm not too uh, high with my c cameras, but as soon as you pop those off, uh, we can look even further into uh, the camera. Now, I won't go too far into the camera because I'm never going to remember how to uh, put this all back together. But I will show you that uh, it, it's pretty easy if you can keep all your parts together, keep all the screws together, you know you know where the screws go after you uh, take this apart. It, it's pretty easily, easily put back together. Uh, just don't lose those screws. So I, I stopped right here and uh, I show you that it's easily taken off right there and there's a little, uh, it will take off that whole ribbon cable after you unscrew all these screws in here. So uh, that's as far as I'm going to go. Now when I put this back together, I know I'm not going to put all the screws in the right spots, so don't, uh, you know, hate on me for that. Uh, I just, I hit it with my arm when I was over there, and uh, I don't really remember where all the screws went. But I figured out I was putting them in the wrong spot halfway through. Uh, these little metal plates, I couldn't figure out how to put them in, but apparently the smooth side goes down. And uh, they have to fit in with pins on the on the bottom of them that go into the holes so it's a very it, it only fits one way so you'll know if you get them in the right way uh, and there's a little pin on there that helps you line up the logic board for the controls that you can easily just put right back on there and we can screw on the screws again holding that down into place now I did put the silver screws but they're really supposed to be the black screws that go onto there so uh, that was my mistake but and one thing you should do before you put down the thing put down that uh, logic board is if you put in the little ribbon cable into the connector then uh, it'll be a lot easier to get in beforehand 
here I'm struggling a little bit to get it in because it's such a tight fit before uh, you put it you put it down it would be easier if you just did it before and putting back that uh, tape on there I think that tape is just to cover it from uh, some accidental uh, connections there I don't know but uh, just like messing up the connections and taking the ribbon cables and putting them back into place uh, I did put them in the wrong spot, but they go on the top of the uh, plastic part there. And pushing that back in, it sticks them in, and uh, make sure they don't fall out if you already use this camera on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, heavy usage wouldn't knock those loose. And that little liner thing on the top, uh, connect that. And screwing in these screws that hold down the LCD. Uh, so that also does not move. So there's two screws on the bottom of that. And, and we're pretty much good. But it also came to me that on the bottom, that whole metal plate should just come right off if uh, you unscrew that one screw. Uh, I'm not going to take this part too much because I don't really have that much space for this. You may notice a different uh, location here than usual, but uh, let me know if you like it because it, it doesn't give me much room, but if you guys like it, then, you know, it's all good. You get to see my light in the background. Alright, so pushing this back in this place, uh, I didn't get the spring for the little door in, in the right spot, so uh, make sure that it's underneath the back cover. Like, there's the front cover and the back cover when you take it off. Make sure it's behind the back cover so that springs right open that little door that holds the SD card. And all these screws, screwing them back in. There's four on the bottom, two on the left side, and one on the right side that hold the front and the back piece together. I did get these mixed up because I hit it with my arm, which is a fatal mistake. Do not do that. But uh, I'm almost done here, and uh, connecting those together, and uh, it should hold it very well. I didn't run into any issues when I uh, put those back in, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys like this video, and uh, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. See ya.